Dirty Plant Hoes and all you official and unofficial dirty plant enthusiasts out there. My name is Rachel. This is my handsome, lovely, adoring, what else can I say? I can't think of anything. I don't know, but you gotta say more than that. Am I doing you're, good? You're halfway there. Halfway. <laughs> <laughs> and today we have a massive unboxing once again because... We don't order just one thing at a time anymore. No, we order multiples because market research, and I love you guys, so we've had market this discussion research. before. I know what you're thinking, and you're absolutely correct, whatever it is that you're thinking. <laughs> Whatever it is that you're thinking about my buying habits, they're probably correct. So this first box that I'm opening up is from the lovely Sarah at Peanuts Plants, and she put a little cute card in here. She said she was bad at notes. Rude. Liar! I decided to send you a few extra goodies. I hope this little package brightens your day. XOXO Sarah Terry. And she... It's an absolute cutie patootie. She has long, luscious, coal black hair. Um, throwing out compliments left and right to everybody. Her husband makes cool wooden, like, plant hangers that I think that they're about to start selling on some sort of a platform. So well, you I guys... just got a major cramp in my bicep. Oh my gosh. That's the Lord telling you to keep your hands off those plants that are about oh, to come out man. of this box. I've known her ever since she started her channel, and I think that she's just the cutest. Oh, man. Oh, I'm already about to cry, and I haven't even pulled anything out. That's really cute. You're a baby. <laughs> You're a baby. This is cute. Sarah. Oh, ooh, girl. That is cute. <gasps> she put some nail goodies in there. And there's even one of these little wooden hearts in the bag. Do you even know what those are? Yeah. You ever seen your mama use those? I've never seen my mama do it, but I've what? seen you do it. Well, you gotta take care of yourself, ladies. It's quite the sight. Don't forget your ABCs. Always be cute. The Mini man. Masterpiece Massive Shine Stronghold Hairspray from Bedhead. You know what I thought this was? I guess you do know what I thought it was. <laughs> well, it ain't hard to figure out. If you are needing to have a manicure on the go, girl, those are cute. This feels like hair care. Can you tell that by the feeling of it? Yeah. Bedhead Rockaholic Dirty Secret Dry Shampoo. She knows what a skank I am. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I used the dry shampoo right before we filmed this video, so I'm excited to try this. Thank you so much. Ooh, I love that. And this looks like maybe something she got on the DL because she is actually a stylist, and it's called the Perfect Blonde Purple Toning Shampoo. Heather sent me my other purple toning shampoo and conditioner. You Change my damn life, you guys. Change my whole damn life. That hurt my neck like a bitch. But I'm excited to try it. It's gonna be really cool. Thank you. So where's this one from? So this one, I'm still struggling with neck issues. So this one is, I'm gonna let Casey take over. I trust you not to tear a leaf off of this one, okay? Don't screw it up. All right, this one's from NSC Tropicals. You tear the tip of a leaf off one time on an unboxing and you never hear the end of it. What? You tore the end off of my begonia leaf. Once. I tore the whole leaf out. I broke it at the stem. I didn't just tear a leaf, that's different. All right, this is from your girl Enid. Yeah, so let's see. I wonder if this. today's the day where she sent you a handwritten note or threw in an extra or something. Like ooh, 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 ooh. Nope, that's just packing material. <laughs> Every now and then, somebody will throw in a little extra and she gets all excited, but Enid's never done it. I'm about to say, what did we learn about the razor blade? Enid is not in any way, shape, or form obligated, obligated to throw in an extra. No, who do you think you are? I don't know. I keep thinking it's going to happen. I don't well, know. Well, you keep thinking that. <laughs> bigger than I thought it was gonna be. This, you guys, <gasps> is a beautiful Alocasia Maharani. 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 I've got a legitimate Alocasia collection now. That she just, she so bought beautiful. this so she could uh, queue up a new spider mite treatment video in about three months. <laughs> it's gonna be my spider mite bait because I'm gonna put it at the end of my racks and then all the spider mites will go for this. And then it'll leave all my other plants alone. The back of them. What a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous alocasia. I told you guys I had seen a, uh, a begonia amphioxus and it was kind of like my window into strange looking begonias. Well, when I first started like finding plants to gram, 
room. This was one of the first alocasias I ever saw, and I was convinced that this was not real. Oh, do you feel it? Yeah, it's really <gasps> rough. It feels like straight up cardboard. Is this fake? You need it out here slinging fake plants. <laughs> you didn't hear it from me though. It's no surprise. Enid's got the best plants in the whole world. I call her at the house, I call her Enid with the good plants, so. It's an awfully small box, what is so this? So this is something very exciting, you guys, because I've been talking shit for a long time about this right here. What is that, why is there a card? Well, I ordered it, I ordered this <laughs> off of eBay. Why is there a card? I don't know. Would love to see pics when it grows. Oh. Casey, hope you enjoy your plant. Thanks, Yvonne. Yvonne. Oh, our eBay seller put a little thank you card in the box. That's a first. Where's all the leaves at? <laughs> So we've talked a lot about this, you guys, on the podcast, and uh, I think on a, maybe a wish list video or two that I've done in the past. And you guys know that I'm a pretty experienced lady when it comes with the shriveled nodes, okay? And I'm not saying this is a shriveled node, but it is a node. I think it is that, just a node. It's just a node. But can you guess what kind of node this is? What, what, like, what we got going on here? That looks like where she's extra packaged the aerial root portion. We got this from Fanatic Four Flowers. Uh, let who see you in your boxers? The recording. As if. Not my man. Yeah, come on in here. I don't think I need scissors. So as you can see here, she actually carefully packaged the aerial root portion of the stem. I don't know if you guys can see it. Does that help? I don't know. It's hurting my face and my neck in all my areas. This is a Monstera Aurea node. It's got a lot of promise. It was relatively affordable uh, on eBay. When you think about how much a actual Aurea costs, uh, I'm really, really, really excited to get started growing this and show you guys month to month progress. I have not bought a node since the very beginning of my plant journey. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely gonna test my skills of being able to start something from the very nitty gritty bottom. Whoa! Thanks. And I noticed this, and we, me, Casey and I were discussing this on the podcast about how that, this is actually, that's why I think it was such a good deal. Uh, under $200. It was. Oh, okay. Where's the, where, where would you cut this? If you're going to propagate this, if someone had a node, so, where would you cut it? So I'm when I get ready to propagate this, I'm going to take my pruning shears and I'm going to cut it right down the center, right okay. here. This, this node right here is going to be a growth point or a place where it's going to grow roots from. And this, this right here is a place, obviously. Obviously, it's showing Already you the roots, aerial yeah. right there. But that should be two Aurea babies by the end of tonight. I'm gonna spag it and bag it. So you're gonna put it in spag? Spag. So you're gonna wet the spag. I'm gonna wet some spag pretty liberally. I'm gonna wring it out with my hands, like I'm wringing out a washcloth. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw it in a Ziploc bag, and then I'm gonna nestle those nodes in there like little eggs in a bird's nest. And then zip and it I'm up. I'm gonna zip it up and then blow a little bit of air into the top of the Ziploc bag to where it has plenty of carbon dioxide to run off of and then I'm going to put it in a well lit place so you guys can see my little plant rack that I have back here I set my bags on one of the shelves that has a light right above it so that it gets plenty of energy to make make a new baby for the price we got two future aria plants Correct. you know Casey Casey's the the official plant hunter in this relationship I he found it and bought it he, all He found along. it, he bought it on his own. This is kind of like Casey's baby. He's calling it his baby. So we're gonna see how it goes. So how long should it take this to actually start producing something that looks like an Aria leaf? I had the Pink Princess note in a bag for about a month before it uh, started to put a sprout out. The mm -hmm. first leaf may be super miniaturized and real dinky looking. The next leaf ought to be like this big maybe. And you'll should, you should be able to see some sort of variegation at that point as soon as it gets past the little dink leaf stage. So is that a lot of variegation or is that mild? To me, to me I don't know. I'll have to do a, a up close on this video. Because it all looks green probably from the camera. I think it looks pretty good. This all right here is variegation. All these yellow stripes right here, mm -hmm. variegation, variegation. Here's another stripe right here. So this Looks variegation like it could is, be like a half moon type of variegation going well, on. Wouldn't that be? You don't have any half moon See stuff. See how now. it's on one side; it's got the variegation, but you flip it to the other side, and it looks more uh, just steady green. How come you don't have any half moon stuff? Because 
the good Lord does not want me to have half moon stuff. That's why. I don't know why. I keep cutting and trying and cutting and trying and it just ain't gonna happen. I got really close. She, yeah, she had a alocasia. I didn't get it all the way though. Almost half moon. I want to be in the half moon She wants club. a half moon elbow is what she wants. Oh, those half moon elbows are raunchy yeah. in the price department for yeah. sure. But anyways, that about wraps it up for today, you guys. So I finally got my wish list plant. Doesn't look like much now, but hopefully you guys will stick around, hit the subscribe button, and follow me on this Monstera Aurea journey because it's gonna be a journey and I'm going to document it. If you guys like today's video, be sure and give it a thumbs up down below because it really, really, really helps our channel. And if you get bored and you need to kill about an hour, check out our podcast channel, Heart Shaped Leaves After Dark Podcast. We love you guys. Peace out. Later, taters. Bye. Well, I was being gentle. I was being very gentle. And Can you imagine how gentle you were being, though, if you tore a leaf off, though? If you tore an edge of a leaf off, though? That's not very gentle. It wasn't that I did it roughly. It was that I was just, didn't realize that it was, they had it curled, they had it folded over in the, in the very tip, like folded 90 yeah, degree you flat run, down. You run that risk every time you're opening a package of leaves being anywhere. I would so you never have thought they had to fold it like that, though. But they did. Yeah, they shouldn't. That was their fault. <gasps> that was your fault. Is this just one plant? Sure. Steve's leaves. It's three. Oh, this is Steve's leaves. No. No, this isn't. This is a uh, NSE. This is packing. This is packing. It's just one. Oh, man. I thought I got extras. Oh. I got so excited. Damn, she gets You're me. You're not Summer. She... <laughs> High five, Baron. <laughs> Virtual high five. <laughs> that woman has baited me and baited me and baited me. You know what? I, you think you'd take the hint after a while. <laughs> you don't want to have that do you, you crazy woman. <laughs> well, she's missing out because I'm cool. I totally agree. But, I'm uh, cool, I don't Enid. think she gives two craps about that. Love me, Enid. Come on. Come on, girl. You wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> I'd poop a pet. Hey guys, this is the part of the video where I do a big giant thank you to all 95 of our channel members. I mean, 95, are you guys freaking kidding me? That's insane. Thank you so much. I'm gonna start from the top and we're gonna work our way down. Let's say a big thank you to Rhiannon Chambers, Lady Musing, Heather Summers, My Clean Leaves, Katrin, Lara Juno, Danu Santos, Christine Wisney, Nicholas Constant, Medusa's Mess, Jana Vieira, Pammy's Planty Things, Nadine Guzman, Tara Peterson, The Plants Meow, Sarah Jones, Lulu's Leaves, Diana Warner, Reagan Cornelius, Darren Heppel, Caris, uh, Tracy Buzzle, Seven Puggies, Caitlin Phillips, Lynn Therese, Kelly Hodgson, Plantastica, Christy D, Ace Cadet, Juan ZZ, Chelsea Clifton, Mark Strahl, Anna D, Amanda Mervine, The Plant Channel, Jedi KCC, Yes, we need another page because that's how many members we have. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So thank you to Megan Lilly, Alexis D, Lacona Snyder, Light Owl, Lawrence Kuhn, Chaco Nana, Lindsay Daniel, Fiona, Amber V, Danielle Holt, Root and Leaf, Amy Powell, Tiffany Wright, Chris Felice, Oops, I Soiled My Planties, Carrie Lawless, Houseplant Heather, Cassandra Hines, The Fiber Circus, Jaya Rowe, K.S., Emily Forhey, Sasha Araho, Carly Grinnell, Steph W., Mev Ham, Arlisa B., Christy Bim, Joe Howard, Valbatross, Tanya Houtzager, Mia's Green Journal, Liz Swank, <laughs> Peanuts Plants, Colleen Coyle Levy, Amy P., Jenna Polkakin, Verney Zhu, Splash of Green, Seth Miller, Felicia Yeager, Trojan Viking, Mary Boots, Gab, 
Turquoise Fibers and Foliage, Whitney McHugh, Victoria Feltenberger, Sarah Velasenor, Aeroidology Michael, Barbara Lindbergh, Ashley Nolan, Casey Dillon, Suzanne Strickland, Raylene Hillshouse, Hillhouse, I'm sorry, Beauty Isn't Perfect, Jenny Vanderbilt, Happy Little Bush, Riley Elizabeth, and Denise Tomer. Thank you guys so much. We can't even begin to explain to you what this means to us for you guys to support our channel and we are excited for the future. So thank you guys so much and we will see you around next time. Peace out. Later taters. Love you. Bye.